Well, what's going on everybody? Jonathan here with Drone Academy and today we're going to take a look at the small but mighty-ish Tello. So a lot of you probably saw my Phantom 4 Pro version 2 unboxing last week and I was hoping to spend some time doing a full review of that aircraft but unfortunately the unit that I got from DJI was DOA and would not stay connected to the controller so it is on its way back to DJI and I'm hoping to have a new one in return here shortly so I can finish that review but in the meantime I decided to pull out the Tello and uh, do a quick little review of this aircraft so get ready to feel the fun. And for those of you not familiar with Tello, this tiny little aircraft is made by a company called Rise Technologies out of Shenzhen, but it's made in collaboration with DJI and Intel. You can actually buy it on the DJI web store. So if you're familiar with DJI aircraft, the controls for this are gonna look similar to that. Although you are gonna be operating primarily from your phone, it does have the capabilities to sync with a Bluetooth controller. So here in the bottom of the box, you're gonna find your quick start guide and a small package that contains a battery, four spare propellers, and a propeller removal tool, which is important to use because if you just try to pull it up off the top, you can easily break these things. Now that's not to say that this aircraft feels cheap, but it certainly doesn't hide its $99 price tag. And to keep the weight at 80 grams, Rise had to make some choices about the materials that they used. But to make it all up to you, between now and Father's Day, if you order, Rise is throwing in a spare battery for free. So that's pretty nice. I mean, $19 is $19, right? So if we break into this bag and pull out the spare propellers, you can see, obviously, like I said, the set of four there and the tool that you're going to use to remove those propellers. It's as simple as placing them underneath and prying them up. It's a pretty easy deal. So accessories are okay, but I always like taking a look at the aircraft itself. So let's pop this guy open and take a look. And so like I said before, this aircraft is pretty light. All in, it's about 80 grams, which puts it well below the requirement for registration. So clearly this is a toy drone and not something that you're gonna use for any kind of work. If you are able to score a job with the Tello drone, let me know, I'd love to have you on our podcast sometime. Anyways, you can see here that it actually has a back plate that is removable. You can purchase other colors like yellow and blue, and you can just snap those on the back if you're interested. I'm gonna stick with white just because I'm boring. So you can see here the battery just slides right back in the back and Rye says you'll get 13 minutes of flight time out of that. In my experience, it's closer to 10. And you can charge that battery in the aircraft using a micro USB cable that you plug right into the side. However, if you plan on doing some long endurance flying with this thing, you may want to pick up the charging hub. It lets you charge three batteries at once. Here on the bottom of the aircraft, you can see the sensors for the vision positioning sensor. The Tello doesn't use GPS to maintain its position, but the vision positioning sensor, in my experience, does a pretty good job of helping it maintain its altitude as well as location on the ground. There you can see the power button, and unlike DJI aircraft where it requires two presses, the Tello just requires one press to get it fired up. So let's go ahead and take a quick walkthrough on how to pair the aircraft to your phone, and then we'll look at a few of the flight modes that this has to offer. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure that the aircraft is on and that your phone is connected to the Tello Wi-Fi network. Then you open the app and you should be greeted with a view of what the aircraft is seeing. A quick tap of the takeoff button in the top left hand corner and a slide to take off and the aircraft will spin its motors up, lift off and hold steady where it's at. Now a basic takeoff is all well and good, but let's take a look at one of the featured flight modes that the Tello has called the throw and go. Now this can be useful if you don't have a good takeoff location to launch from, but essentially all you do is select this mode and then you toss the aircraft up in the air and it will begin flying and it will hold its position relatively close to wherever you took off from. Now while certainly not as precise as GPS guided flight, the vision positioning system was actually fairly impressive in my early tests. And here you can see the on-screen controls as the aircraft is moving around and responding fairly well to the inputs. Now, given the fact that this aircraft operates only on the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi, I expected there to be a little bit of latency issues since this is a heavy Wi-Fi area. But all in all, it was quite responsive and I was surprised to see how well it responded to the controls. And you can hear a little bit of the wind in the microphone, so even on a slightly windy day, this aircraft did a pretty good job of holding its position. So let's take a look at another one of the flight modes that they advertise, and that is the 8D flip mode. Now, essentially when you go into this mode, you'll see a small box on the screen, 
and by swiping across it, the aircraft will perform the corresponding flip. And this is what it looks like for when you're looking at the aircraft. Let's take a look at what the cameras say. And you can see here, obviously you can flip across right to left, left to right. You can jump forward and or backwards. Pretty much any direction that you can swipe across, the aircraft will flip. Let's take a look at some of the other flight modes here besides the throw and go and the 8D. There's bounce mode, up and away, which is like a standard droney. And then there's 360, and this is pretty simple. The aircraft just sits in one place and spins around. Now, the good news is, is that it automatically resorts to recording when you start this mode, so you don't have to remember that, and it will automatically stop when it's done. Now, this aircraft only shoots at 720p, so honestly, you know, I can't think of much of what you would want to use this for as far as cinematography, but it's a neat little mode to have anyways. Then, like I said, up and away is like a droney, a circle spins around a single point, and then there's bounce mode that just goes up and down. And while I don't see any use for that, if you've got some really cool video from the bounce mode, I'd love to see you link it in the comments below. Now, this aircraft has a five megapixel still camera, but you can see there's no image stabilization. However, when you go into the video settings, the digital image stabilization kicks in. So the still camera, obviously you're gonna see a little bit of a bounce, but the digital image stabilization is surprisingly smooth when you look at the video side. So here you can see the aircraft reminding me that it's not meant for flying in high winds. And so let's go ahead and attempt a hand landing and see what that does. Essentially, all you have to do is select that mode and then put your hand underneath the aircraft and you can see that it will slowly and gently land in your palm. All right, y'all, so that's the Tello in a nutshell. For $99, links down below. It's not a bad deal. And if you order between now and Father's Day, you get an extra battery for free. Hopefully that'll hold you over till I get my Phantom 4 Pro version 2 back from DJI. In the meantime, if you've got any questions, let us know in the comments below.